Hello friends, welcome back to this uh, Verilog session. In the previous session in the Verilog, I introduced you with the fundamentals and then we created or we built a simple Verilog code for couple of gates. The first one was AND gate and then we went with NOT gate. It is very important for us to complete all the gates using Verilog and we need to build a test bench as well. And then we will go to slightly complex uh, circuits like adder, subtractor and then we can go to multiplexer. This is the plan that I am having and that's the way we will go as well. Can we go ahead and code the R gate with Verilog? It's easy. I have already taught you. Let's first go ahead and understand the way the R gate is structured. It has got two inputs and the output is going to be sum of the two. If either of the inputs is high, the output will remain high. 0, 0 will be 0, 0, 1 will get you 1, 1, 0 will be 1 and 1, 1 will again be 1. This is very easy and this is very tricky. Let's go ahead and code the module first. We are going to design the R gate. What is the first step to do? We need to write the module. How do we write the module? Module and name of the module is R gate and how many inputs we have? We have got two inputs one output will be there and hence we have got the three variables here a b and y y is eventually the output and a and b are the inputs now i need to make it in the code that a and b are inputs and y is output i use input a and b ports are made as input and y is made as output and assign we use to get the computation done y is equal to a r b and the result of a r with b will be assigned to y n module we have built the module and it is ready to be tested that's it so first part is over now we need to write the test bench the test bench is as important as the write, writing the module and hence we need to pay attention for that as well can we go ahead and start writing the test bench the name of the test bench should be written in the same way as we have written the name of the module here r gate r gate underscore tv now output is y so it can be made t underscore y the uh, input is a and b hence it can be made as t underscore a and t underscore b the input should be made registers the output should be made wire and i explained you this clearly in the previous session so follow the same inputs now what do we do we need to instantiate this module has to be instantiated here r gate is the name of the module here i instantiated my gate and dot a will be connecting to t underscore a b will be connecting to t underscore b y will be connecting to t underscore y so we have related this a with t underscore a this b with t underscore b and this y with t underscore y that's it work is done now we get into the initial part of it where we will start beginning the code and we will use monitor there what is monitor monitor will help you in monitoring the values and it will immediately update you if there is a change in value what are all the things we are going to monitor t underscore a t underscore b t underscore y are the three things that we are going to monitor can we go ahead and start the test cases t underscore a is first one bit input and initially it is zero zero it is all binary zero zero after five nanoseconds delay i go ahead with zero one after again 5 nanoseconds, I go ahead with 1, 0 and then finally I apply 1, 1. What should be the output? For 0, 0 it should be 0, for 0, 1 it should be 1, 1, 0 it should be 1 and 1, 1 it should be 1 again. So other than the first case, rest of the three cases must get us the result as 1, 1 and 1. Can we go ahead and see the demo right now which is very easy for us to understand as well. Well, the first step for the demo is to go ahead and open your command prompt. I have opened the files which are available in terms of a notepad plus plus file. I mean it's a Verilog file and I have got the test bench available here or underscore tv dot v or dot v both are available in the same directory. Can we go ahead and compile the file first? How do we compile i Verilog hyphen o r underscore demo is the name of the final executable file r dot v r dot r underscore tb dot v now we have got the final executable file by the name r underscore demo can we see if we get the result yes done 0 0 gets you 0 0 1 gets you 1 1 0 gets you 1 and 1 1 gets you 1 that's all you have coded the very clearly you have coded the r gate with very log and you have also built the test bench 
Now, what is the next gate to go ahead with? Yes, we've got one more gate that, to, that is to be completed in this session quickly, and I will go ahead and take it up immediately. We are going to do the NAR gate. What is NAR? Just the complement for the R. So same is the case here. I'm going to use the module, and I have named it as NAR gate. Input is A and B, and output is Y. So input A and B configured here clearly, output Y configured here clearly, and assign A, R, B, but we are going to use not in front of it. And how do we write a test bench? Same is the case, no change. It is no change. The test bench can remain exactly the same because the module is the one that is paying the more attention, that is to be paid with more attention, and test bench is easy. I am retaining the same test bench. There is no change at all. And I'll have to just inst instantiate from NAR gate instead of R gate, like what we did the last time. Can you see the demo if it is working fine? Yes, it is time for us to go ahead and see the demo. The names of the file are NAR.V and the second file is NAR underscore TV dot V. We'll go ahead and do the demo right now. NAR underscore demo is the name of the executable file. NAR.V, NAR underscore TV dot V. We have compiled it. And we need to run it. VVP NAR underscore demo. That's all. We got the output. Now you need to see that here we got 0, 1, 1, 1. This should be complemented. 1, 0, 0. That's it. It's very simple. And we have built two gates with Verilog. First one is R and we wrote the test bench. And the second one is NAR and we wrote the test bench for it as well. But the test bench remain consistent. We just need to instantiate from the right module. I hope you understood how do we build R gate and NAR gate with Verilog. And if you have any questions, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. I'll be able to answer you. Thank you very much.